I'm here to demonstrate my um, Arduino controlled LED uh, stage light system. Um, I built the custom Arduino board and wrote some software. You can see the lights in the background. I have a controller software here that I wrote using um, something called the processing library. It made it easy to do the sliders and such. So really it looks like a, a PC based DMX lighting control system. I can control the channel on the left there, the blue. Um, I can control the channel on the right, the green, by sliding that slider up and down. So having a look at what I have here, um, this is my Arduino board underneath and my custom interface board on top. It's called a shield board. Uh, it has the Max 485 chip on it that's required to give you uh, DMX uh, RS-485 voltage levels. Anyway, here's the cable coming out of it. So it's USB going in from the computer, from the PC, and uh, uh, a, a microphone cable essentially, it's a DMX cable, coming out, which goes up to the lights. I've got the two stage lights mounted on a stand. This one on the left, as you can see the display, it's set to address one DMX channel one and this light over here is set to DMX channel seven so the light on the left takes care of channels one to six the light on the right is channel seven to twelve set this back up again so I wrote the Arduino software that's in the microcontroller uh, in C language and I used a library that I downloaded called DMX Simple. It made my job a lot easier as far as the DMX timing and such goes. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, just explaining about these lights. So channel 1 obviously is, is blue. Um, where That would be channel 7 over here would be blue. I'll turn off the green. Channel 7 is blue and the light on the right. I'll switch that one to red. Okay, so the left one is red, then green, then blue. Um, and the next channel is a special channel. I'll get back to that. Channel uh, 5 is a strobe channel. So if you turn that on, the light flashes at a variable speed. It starts flashing at about 100, which is fit half, half range. It's 0 to 255 is the range of these sliders. Um, so anyway up at 100% at 255 it flashes full speed so that's a strobe channel and the last channel channel 6 is what they call the shutter channel it's like a master fader for the whole light so it'll fade whatever if you've got let's make it all white it'll fade the white down if I can grab it and pull it down there we go okay so channel 4 is a special channel it controls the all the colors of the light depending on what range you set it to. So like when you first start off it, it goes to um, blue, uh, you know, then magenta, then green, yellow, there's cyan, or that was magenta, then red. Once you get through all the colors up around 50% it starts to strobe different colors. It's strobing blue, fast, now it's strobing green, now it's strobing red. Okay, so that middle range it strobes and then at the top of its range it it strobe uh, it chases actually once I get up there there we go so here we are we're near the top now it's chasing the three primary colors red blue green and then when you go to the very top it'll chase the seven colors which are uh, you know it includes white and cyan and magenta mixtures of color so it does seven colors there so that's what channel four is um, so it took a little while to figure out how the light behaves as far as how the different channel assignments work. So, and the light on the right is 7 to 12, so same thing. So 7, 8, 9 are the three primary colors. 10 would be the, the master channel that does everything, you know. There's the chase on the light on the right, and so on. So this software here I wrote using... Um, 
a tool called Processing, uh, which I was able to download and then write your own custom code in C to uh, to do your application. Um, but the processing software let me do these sliders quite easily. If I didn't have it, it would have been a lot more work. So I use processing for that. And on the uh, Arduino, I used a, a library called DMX Simple, which made writing the DMX code much easier. Anyway, so uh, I bought the lights from uh, Musician's Friend. They're the uh, you know they're cheap uh, Par 64 lights. They were 100 bucks each. Nice lights. They're quite bright. And the fans are noisy. But who cares? We're in a band anyway. Uh, this is the manual that comes with it. It's practically useless. You have to uh, be a Chinese interpreter in order to understand it because the English is so poor. Um, and it took a little while to figure out the uh, channel assignments. I don't know if you can see that. Channel 1, red, green, blue. That was easy. Or, or blue, green, red. But then channel 4, it says auto color chase. So it took a little while to figure out what that is. Channel 5, it says strobe. So that was straightforward. And channel 6, it says dimmer, which is in the, uh, actually, I think they call that typically the shutter. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's what I've been doing. The next step is to, uh, you know, get rid of the laptop and just use the Arduino and build a foot switch control lighting system. So that's my next step. Uh, because there are no foot switch control system for, uh, you know, DMX LED stage lights out there. At least none that do any kind of decent functions. Okay, so I'll talk to you later.